drag has always been a part of my life. I think I just had a fascination in what it was. I am Cody Otachowski. Or <laughs> as people know me in the city, Venus Vestrada. Yep. I have lived in Baltimore all my life. From when I was a kid, I watched Mrs. Doubtfire regularly. I hope you are using Jungle Rape because that is the only color I love. Mm, matches your lips. I listen to the Hairspray cast recording all the time. The times, they are changing. I was always attracted to the mother, who of course is played by a man. And I was like, okay, something about this I like. <laughs> As a Baltimore queen, this is the city of filth and imperfection. We live embracing the imperfection. And I think that's very important. You know, John Waters kind of helped. That's something that I hold true and dear to my heart because Divine is, you know, the first, in my eyes, the first drag queen that really made a mark in the world. Could you turn that racket down? I'm trying to iron in here. I was always that shy kid. When I turned 21, I started going to drag shows. But there was something from seeing these shows, and I thought, I could do that. It just helped me just break out of my shell. It's just, it's crazy to think that. <laughs> we are at Grand Central in Baltimore, getting ready for the Black Party revamped. The organized chaos of my makeup bag. <laughs> Tonight I'm doing a you know black smoky eye. This is the part where everybody calls me Uncle Fester. I look like Uncle Fester. Certain things that I'll do or certain things that I say, I normally wouldn't say as Cody. This is my secret. <laughs> we use a postcard. Makeup definitely takes the longest. So when I'm not doing drag, I work for a makeup brand. So technically I'm still around makeup all the time. Because to me this is beautiful. When you put on the makeup, when you put on the wig, when you put on the shoes and the lashes. These are my lashes. <laughs> you are not the same person. They're light, but they're like, they're, they're big. <laughs> they're big. It's kind of like a mask. It's kind of like a, an act in a way but you still are yourself, but you're able to do more than if you weren't in drag. And I've always been concerned about weight. I've never been a thin person. But as Venus, I'm able to embrace my shape. The amount of people that come up to me and say, oh my God, your body is stunning. That doesn't happen in everyday life. But as Venus, it happens every day. With Venus, there's certain things that I've been ashamed of or certain things that I've tried to repress in the past, I don't have to worry about. Because who cares, you know? I, I, I don't, and I'm living my life. I like pushing boundaries. Life's too short anyway. <laughs> All right, who is having a good time so far at the Black Party Revamped? I love it. Keep it up. At the beginning, drag was meant to over accentuate a gender. So if you're a man, you know, and you're dressing up as a woman, you're over exaggerating what a woman would look like. But now it's kind of whatever you want to do. Thank you. Yeah. Once something's on TV, it becomes more popular. Drag Race. Drag was, has always been popular, but since Drag Race, it's become more mainstream. There's a stigma of what people think drag should be and what drag actually is. And it's, it's fun to see that the two worlds are meshing. And that's a small step, but it's a big step into making sure that drag is an inclusive thing. Drag, in a sense, can also be fake. We're acting, essentially. 
as long as you're entertaining and as long as you are putting on a character that's a little bit different than who you are, then that's what drag is. I want to sit here and talk about issues that people don't want to talk about because when it comes down to it, that's going to help us further than just hushing it. I think beauty is defined as what you want it to be defined as. So, my personal drag aesthetic, I don't have brows. <laughs> why, why do we need brows? You know, society tells us that you look normal with brows. I think I look normal without them. <laughs> Even clowns, I think, are beautiful. <laughs> you know, all the makeup, all the, you know, the, the bright colors, I think it's beautiful. Doing drag, I thought that what I wanted was social media attention. But even doing makeup and posting makeup, I was like, oh, I want all these brands to like me and I want to become famous for the pictures that I post. But then I realized word of mouth is so much easier. I feel more confident as myself. People know who I am now, which is something I think everybody wants in a city like Baltimore. When I do things, I think about what's going to make me happy. And I am just living my life to the fullest. I could be happier. <laughs>